All right, looks like I'm live. I've got all sorts of uh, little notifications popping up here uh, <laughs> as I uh, attempt to adjust my camera after uh, not having done a live for so long. Welcome back to the big board. Quick, quick, quick video, a uh, update and a thank you. You're looking at, and we'll get closer to them in a second, uh, aux auxiliary Praetorian Guardsmen, 28 millimeter uh, figures. Uh, I believe they're from uh, a company called Vignette, potentially. Uh, but I'm going to uh, just tell you a little bit about how these came to be, first of all, and then we'll have a then we'll have that about uh, we'll have a look at the detail and all that sort of great stuff. So uh, uh, many of you may know, or any of you who saw the video or seen my post on social media that uh, some scammy little douchebag called Paul Sorter uh, or Stalter or whatever his name is, Critical Terrain on Facebook and uh, over on CSW, uh, claims to be a painter of bits and pieces, but uh, has uh, taken my money and my figures and not painted the product, although he had sent me some progress pictures which were middling to fair at best and, uh, and has now told me to go suck a bag of you-know-whats uh, that starts with D and ends in K, uh, and it might have IC in the middle, and that he was going to be done with me because he was tired of my complaining after six months. Because, you know, he'd had someone die, and then he got stabbed, and then his kid was sick, and he had to do the dishes and the vacuuming, and whew, what a life. Uh, but nevertheless, our little stoner buddy, uh, uh, I got finally got frustrated with him and asked for my uh, my, my kit back, and then said, uh, that's when I go to those nasty grams saying, hey, you know, you can go, you can go bite me basically. But the good news out of all of that is I've had a wealth of people who I never knew or really appreciated that painted miniatures have offered to paint things for me, some for a fee, some for free. So if I ever do uh, find another, another Hannibal and another Caesar, uh, 50, I think they were 54 millimeter. Is that the size? Maybe 52 millimeter that you would, uh, that I would could use potentially. Then I will, uh, I will now have a plethora, as they say, in the three amigos, of uh, of people to choose from to paint my figures that will be reliable, honest, and trustworthy, as opposed to Paul, who is a lying scumbagging bag of you know what. So. Fast forward to the 19th of August, a couple of weeks ago, I got this lovely uh, note uh, on my uh, YouTube channel and then by email uh, with a gentleman offering to send me some figures. And he lives in Canada. And I was like, dude, you know, that's really nice. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Look, we're not, it's all good. I'm just going to write it off. Uh, you know, I'm filing my PayPal claim. I'm uh, actually going to submit a police report uh, tomorrow. Uh, just so it can be on the record and that gets sent up to Niagara Falls, New York, uh, to their police station. And then they will, you know, take it under advisement for, <laughs> for the couple of hundred bucks worth of minis. But I figure it, it, it puts, uh, more shame and more trouble on Paul and gives me, uh, a return on my, uh, investment or my lost investment as the case may be, cause let's not let things go. Uh, so, uh, I got this letter from Wayne, who has a YouTube channel called Boomer Dioramas. And you, you guys who are into miniatures, I know Todd Reed probably knows who he is. Uh, said, no, 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 I'm sending you these figures, these 28 millimeter guys. Uh, I painted them back in 2007. Okay, so that's maybe the, the so that's when he painted them. And uh, they're pewter metal figures. Uh, they're, uh, they're all uh, very subtly different. Uh, you can see here that they've all got different stances and stuff like that, so that's kind of groovy, and we'll get, we'll get a closer look in a sec. Uh, and it says here that in terms of their historical, ac historical accuracy, I believe they are early first century auxiliary, auxiliary Praetorian Guardsmen. My historical reference for fitting and painting is Adrian Goldsworthy's excellent historical reference book, The Complete Roman Army, which I happen to own a copy of. And I can see from here. Uh, so uh, we can then uh, see, uh, look, uh, let's see. Uh, then it says painting notes, uh, painting notes, 28 millimeter. It's more about stabbing in uh, color as opposed, uh, in, in color opposed to the larger scales, which are nicer to paint due to blending of colors. Nevertheless, 28 millimeter figures, millimeter figures look cool in numbers. And we have eight of these little buggers right here 
all together. So let's have a little, see if I can zoom in. You know, uh, when you do live, uh, sometimes this gets a little wonky. Uh, and these are actually quite stiff too. Uh, he put styrofoam over the top of these so they didn't get bent in shipping. And I, I'm going to send him some money for shipping. Uh, I wonder if we can uh, pick these guys up and have a closer look. So he's got the shields done out in leather. Does that look okay or is it better if I zoom out a little bit? I don't know which is better. The detail's really nice and the lighting is probably crappy. Let me see if I can get some light on it. I believe I can make this bright white light. There we go. I'm trying to be very uh, careful with these because I'm, I'm, I'm not a miniature's handler, <laughs> as they say. Uh, so anyway, these are really cool. Uh, they're going to sit up on my bookcase and guard my war games, cheer me on when I, I roll dice. And, oh, uh, thanks, Mark. These are really nice. Yeah. And, uh, and then they will cheer on my, ro my die, die rolling and be a, uh, a little reminder that there is goodness in the world. These guys have got the little, um, I forget what they call those shin guards, they have a name. But they look nice, don't they? Look really, really good. So he's got done a great job there. I want to be extra careful with them. And they're very heavy, made of butcher. Uh, I, I like these guys here. Look at these little serious little faces on them. Little grunty guys. Yeah, so if you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. Uh, I was uh, goofing around over there the other day, having a look at some of his videos and uh, posting some comments uh, just to be supportive. Appreciate everyone checking in. That's all. I just want to show you that, uh, give you a little update on the uh, on the mini drama <laughs> with uh, with the the theft of my uh, my miniatures and my money. Nevertheless, here we are. And you know what? Now, this looks like a different rank guy because he's got a uh, vertical plume there that's interesting anyway there we go very cool all the shields are kind of held at slightly different angles and heights and things like that and this guy's leaning in very cool all right fellas that was all i had for you thought i'd share that and i'll let you go all the best